Hi, it's Just Ask Wednesday. Today's question comes from an Andrea Beth Downing, a glorious friend and a, a great author. And she asks this question, how many breaths do we take in one minute? Well, the normal adult rate is, and it needs to be at a resting rate. In other words, not after you've jogged or gone around the block or even done a stairs. That's anywhere between 12 and 20. You know, and there's a lot of factors in, in that range as well. But why is respiratory rate, and that's what it's called, why is it important? It's important because it really is involving the four vital signs that doctors and nurses and EMTs and ambulance people would take if there was an emergency. Those four, four vital signs are body temperature, blood pressure, pulse, and your respiratory rate. Hi, Katie. And you know, it's really important, and Katie, we're talking about respiratory rate, how many breaths we take per minute. The really cool thing is if we're taking somewhere between 12 and 20, that's equivalent to 8.5 million breaths per year. That is a really cool part of that. But there's a lot of things that you should know about the respiratory rate. If it goes over 25, it increases. Could be a number of things, anywhere from asthma to any kind of lung issue or lung disease, anxiety, fear, congestive heart failure, fevers, dehydration, infections, you're sick. And that's one of the things why they call it a vital sign. I can actually drink a glass of of red wine and my, my respiratory rate will decrease. So anything below 12, you should be very aware of too because the number of breaths that you take per minute is a sign of how your brain is actually telling your body to breathe. And if it's increased, something is a miss. Is a miss, yeah. So how do you take it? It's pretty simple. Find a timer of some sort. And what you wanna do is you will wanna find that vein either in your neck, some people can actually read it here, and you wanna take your index finger and your middle finger and set it on there and time it very specifically. And with iPhones today, that should not be a problem. And you just count the number of times you feel this beat in a 60 second time frame. So it's as easy as that. I'll also post an article on here and it's a pretty good, fairly easy readable article about how to take it, how to be real precise about taking it, what position you should be in. They suggest that you sit up when you take a respiratory rate. And it all, in that article, it also talks about um, when to call a doctor due to your respiratory rate, or when to call 911, those things. I think it's really cool that we can actually know these things from information and education that we actually get. Hi guys, hi Brittany, hi Kendall. And I think it prepares us just in case there might be an emergency. If you know what to do, awareness is a powerful, powerful thing. Hi Janet. So. Keep that in mind, respiratory rate. The number per minute is somewhere between 12 and 20. Watch the whole thing today and let me know if you have a question. I love these questions because every time I learn something too and that's the cool part of Just Ask Wednesday. See you soon, have a good day and keep moving.